Okay, so in this series, we are going to learn how we are going to work with MySQL databases. Okay, but before going through so that you'd fully understand or you could fully follow uh, the lessons in this series, you must have a basic knowledge on PHP and some working experience with MySQL on how to create a database, create tables, some SQL commands, and so on. Okay. Then how about for the PHP? You need to have some basic knowledge on PHP. So because PHP is going to work as the intermediary between our Flutter app and our database. Okay. So if ever you st you think you lack knowledge on PHP or MySQL. I would suggest that you are going to take some courses on PHP and MySQL or MySQL before proceeding with uh, this series. Okay. So we are now going to start with some terms. Okay. So we have here is what we call as API. Okay. So what is an API? It is an application programming interface. That's the API, acronym API. Then it is a set of defined rules that enable different applications to communicate with each other. Okay, so this is what you are going to take note. The role of an API is an intermediary between different applications. Okay. So, this is going to let different applications communicate with each other because it is possible uh, one application from deep different platform could not directly communicate with other apps from other platforms. Okay. So, that is why we have here our API. On other definition here, an intermediary layer that processes data transfers between systems okay so still it is uh, it enables the communication by processing uh, transfers of data between systems okay so that we could f fully understand i have created here a diagram a very simple diagram that shows the role of an api in a database system okay so because since our series in this series we are going to uh, discuss uh, working with databases so that is why the main purpose of our api now is how are we going to communicate with a database from different platforms okay so as the definition says api is intermediary so it uh, stays on between in between uh, of different platforms so we have the different platforms here at the bottom so we have a web app a, or a web platform a mobile platform and desktop and we have here our database let us say this is my sequel okay now mobile could not actually directly communicate with our database let us say our database is hosted in the internet, somewhere in the internet, and our desktop, mobile, and web platforms could not actually directly communicate with our database. So that is why in between our different platforms here, we have our API. Okay? So, if ever a mobile app is going to save, let us say, it is going to save data into our database it should contact our api okay in the form of a request okay so once the api receives a request from the clients from any of these platforms below it will then send that request into our database that request could be an insert an update a delete or retrieval or whatever whatever request for, uh, into our database then our database is going to process that request then in a form of whatever uh, format it is going to return us a response 
to the API. Take note. The database is going to communicate only on the API. It is going to re receive a request and send a response. Then, the API, once it receives the response from the database, it will then also pass the response into whatever platform that made the request. Okay? So, so as with our web, it is going to send a request, then process the request, send it to the database, then the database process that request, send a response, then pass the response to uh, the requesting platform. Okay? So how are we going to communicate with these platforms here into our API? Now, there is this what we call as JSON or JavaScript Object Notation. So it is possible that those data coming from here as part of the request will be sent to the API through JSON format. So also with when the API is going to send data back to the requesting platform, it is going to send that response with a, da a JSON data. Okay? And so with the desktop and the web. And by the way, and how are we going to create the request? So I hope you can still remember uh, the get and the post. Then we also have the delete and the put methods. Okay? And all of those methods, okay, what is incorporated there would be the JSON. Okay, so we're going to discuss, we're going to go on details about the JSON as we are going to go with uh, our very first lesson on uh, Flutter and the API. Okay? So I hope you fully understood how the data is being passed from the different platforms into our database. So on the next video that we're going to have, it would be from mobile or web, but how are we to communicate with our API? Okay? How are we to pass request into our API and how it is going to uh, process that request then pass the response and our platform or our mobile app then is going to process that response. Okay? So that will be on our next video. Then later on, we are going to have also from the API into our database. So at the end of this series, you are then going to learn in how are you going to uh, send or save data to the database and retrieve records from our database. Okay? So that's all for this introduction, introductory video, and I'll see you on the next one.